Hey everybody, we're at the CJ Skateboard Park and School, fourth largest skateboard park in the world here in Toronto, Canada. And uh, we've got another celebrity here today. We have the famous Poppy Olsen, all the way from Sydney, Australia. That's Dananda for you fellows uh, and ladies um, out there watching. Uh, Poppy, uh, first of all, wow, like you're impressive. Not just an amazing skateboarder, but just your whole story. And um, for people who don't know, maybe you want to tell a little bit about, uh, I think I saw the one video where you talk about the paintbrush and your skateboard. And uh, that was pretty cool. Yeah, uh, I started skateboarding when I was eight years old. And then a couple of years later, I realized that the only way to get better was to travel to America because a lot of the skateboarding scene was in America at the time. And so I always loved drawing. Uh, when I was born, like when I was about one year, years old, I started drawing and I just kept on doing it and I loved it so much that um, I realized that I needed a way to get over to the States for me to compete over there so I started making my art into greeting cards and that helped me find my trips to the United States. That's amazing. You know, it's funny when we talk about art and we talk about skateboarding, what I think a lot of people don't realize is as a, as a great skateboarder you have to have creativity the way you link your tricks together. You know, you're always there's so much more than just the, the physical part of it and the, the balance and everything, but it's really, you know, the creativity and the routine of putting a trick to I mean, watching it today was just so cool, and uh, you don't see many women do it. I mean, you're an inspiration to girls, right? I mean, that's, that's a lot of pressure on you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, it was great. You had the, uh, the Babes Brigade out there were uh, skating with you and watching yeah. it, so that was pretty cool. That was awesome. What's, uh, what do you love about skateboarding? Um, I love that it's completely different from every single sport and everyone has their own different style and you can skate however you want to and you can learn all these different new tricks and there's like thousands of tricks that you can learn. And, yeah. What was the hardest trick you learned? Hardest trick I learned? Oh. Yeah, the, I just I learned a hand plant probably about a year ago. That was pretty hard. Oh yeah. But a lot of it's just like you get the skill down and then it's just hard committing. Yeah, it's yeah, that commitment down. and the fear, right? Yeah. They'll just, they'll just commit and just go for it. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And you were doing some 540s out there. You're doing these crazy rock and rolls and 50s and like it was. You're doing some great stuff out there. Thank you. You're impressing the guys. They're going. Whoa. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> what uh, and what's next for you in the world of skateboarding? What do you want to do next? Um. Because you're only what? 15. 15. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah, I turned 15 in June. So. Yeah, but what's next for me, I don't know. I'm probably just keep on competing and hopefully getting better and better. Awesome. And yeah, that'd be awesome. And if you were going to give a message to girls out there, because I think some girls think of skateboarding as, you know, I don't know, it's a boy's sport or it's, I don't get, get, get hurt. Like, how would you give a message to them to, to try it and to aspire them? Um, I'd just say it's really fun you can, because you can progress at your own level and there's so many other people helping you. And there's girls joining every day, so uh, I reckon you'll definitely have other girls helping you and all the guys. It's a really fun sport, and you can just do, learn whatever you want to. And it's much. funny you say fun. You know what? Uh, uh, one thing I find about this sport, which I think is amazing, is everyone is willing to help everybody. Yeah. And everybody is, you know, you may be good at this trick, they may be good at that trick, but everybody helps each other to learn those tricks and to progress. And it's not really competing, it's more of a, a camaraderie, yeah, right? It's a fun sport. As and opposed to other sports where it's, you know, you've got to be as good as them, you've got to compete, and it's, yeah. you know, they take the fun out of it. Yeah, skateboarding, you don't have to compete, you can just have a, that's kind of like a lifestyle. You just skate when you want to, you can just go yeah. to the store skating, or you can try and get better and better and then eventually compete in little competitions and stuff. Now you, at Bondi, you have that pool, which is pretty hard pool to skate, but you skate yeah. that, right? That's where Sorry, I learned to skate. Wow. And I skated there like all the time, and I recently just moved to Newcastle, uh -huh. which is, I moved there probably I don't know, maybe six months ago or something like that. And the bowl there is really good as oh, well. Yeah. That's a really fun bowl. Excellent. Yeah, there's a lot of great skating there, and Monster Skate Park Park, our friends who are from Canada, yeah. they're running that, uh, they're doing a great job. Yeah, that's a fun place. Where else do you like, you've been a lot of places, what's sort of one of your favorite places besides here? Yeah. To, to, <laughs> you heard that, right? What's one of your favorite places you like to Um, I like Tony Hawk's Vert Ramp, that's a pretty fun ramp. It's just really wide, and it's, yeah. you can just use the whole ramp, it's probably one of the widest ones I've skated, so you can just 
I don't know. I just find yeah, it really fun. <laughs> but, and you were just in Woodward West and you were oh, on yeah. the mega ramp. Wow. Yeah, that that's was scary. That was. Yeah, I always, I'm always scared when I go there, but then you just get used to it and yeah. then start going higher up. That's a really fun ramp. And I think Mike McGill was there when you were there. I was hearing that. Uh, yeah, Mike good. turned up on the last. I think it was yeah the last day to pick up his kid. Awesome. And that was pretty fun. We skated together. It was awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Well, that's great. Wow. Um, and what's, where's your next destination? Where are you going next? Uh, probably back here. There's a big um, girls competition in California called Exposure. Oh, great. And it's one of the biggest, if not, I think it is the biggest girls competition in the world. And wow. that'll be really fun. There's going to be a street division, a bowl division, and a vert division. Now, will you do all those, or are you st strictly going to do uh, uh, bowl or I mean, you, you could do street. I don't, yeah, I don't know if I'll do street, but I'll definitely be doing bowl and vert. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, I want to thank Poppy for coming out here today, all the way from Sydney, Australia. Awesome. It was great. Keep skating, keep delivering the message and inspiring women. I think that's yeah. great. Awesome. Thank you for coming. Thank you.